Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Today I'm going to continue on with my top five beauty products for medium skin tones, something like this. For today I'm going to continue on and do the highlighter. I know that I should have done this beforehand because everyone's kind of, well not everyone, but a lot of people are highlighter fiends, but it's just like which one do you buy? Because there's so many. <laughs> So for today, I'm going to focus on the top five that I think will suit our skin tones and also be for different uses, different color range. Yes. If you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. I will list all of the makeup beauty products there. I said beauty. Beauty products there for you guys to check out and see what I used to put this makeup look together. Most of the products that I use are from the recent haul that I did, so be prepared. But my goal is to try and keep this video under 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get started and let's go. So the first one is the ever so famous, the infamous um, Champagne Pop. I'm trying to open it from the other end. And this was a collaboration with Jacqueline Hill here on YouTube. And I think that after, well, when it first came out, Opal was the business. And then after this, it was just, what's Opal? The reason I think that this is very good for our skin tone is because it's got warmth to it as opposed to being more cool. I find that on medium skin tone, on the golder, golden side of the spectrum, that sometimes things that are a bit too cool can look ashy on the skin. I would consider this shade the everyday, but also still kind of it's kind of it's kind of extra even though this goes with pretty much every single look this is very pigmented so you might want to put this on and then blend it out if you don't want to have highlighter bam in your face but if you do this is your everyday go-to and I would suggest this for people that just want to have one single highlighter I would suggest this one because it just goes with everything now this is kind of a little bit of a hmm why is this in this top five i personally really like it and i think that it does look very nice on the skin even for medium skin tones so this is the light and by light i mean in terms of color this is a light highlighter and i know some people might argue that it's a bit too light for our skin tone but i use it quite often and I love the way that it looks and here's the reason why by the way let me just tell you what it is this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and that's what the other one was as well and this one is in Moonstone I believe this is the lightest that they have I don't know if they've come out with new ones since I purchased this I know it looks really light in the pan however the undertone or the color scheme here is very yellow i think that this one more so than the champagne pop when it's blended out really heavily it looks amazing on the skin i don't go very heavy on this when i use it not that i go heavy on any of my highlighters but like on the spectrum i go probably the lightest with this because i don't want it to show up too stark and light on my skin it almost kind of gives you like a wet a wet look as opposed to a highlighter look so i like to use this more so on my days when i'm trying to do a no makeup makeup look and then i just blend the heck out of it after i applied it and it just looks really good now moving on to my colored i know that there's a lot of colored highlighters coming out now i've seen some blue some black some green it's it's getting a little crazy unicorn rainbow this will be my color recommendation boring i don't care but anyways this is the mac mineralized skin finish in cheeky bronze i've had this forever and a day it's in the old packaging but i mean look at how much product you get in here when you're gonna finish this never in here it is a bronze slash golden not golden rose type of color and this is what i have on my cheeks today I love to use this as a blush highlighter combo and so on my cheeks I have no highlighter on this is my highlighter this is my blush 
and the pigmentation like the color of the blush is definitely the rose that's where you see not as much of that sheen but if you see the kind of uh, glittery veining in it that's where the bronze comes in and that's what shows up on the skin as highlighter this will look amazing for summer bronzer all over the skin tapping this on like the outer portions give yourself a little bit of you know pink cheeks or rosy cheeks and then that that bronze glow i'm telling you guys you need to own this now for the gold highlighter everyone needs like a golden highlight it just is sun is coming okay this is the bobby brown highlighting powder in bronze glow this was limited edition and then i think I think there was kind of like commotion going on and people were complaining that they didn't get their hands on it and everyone wanted it so they came out with it again and i got my hands on it because i was one of those peoples oh yes oh yes it's definitely a bit more on the deeper end nah, i'd say medium it's not that it's not necessarily like deeper bronze but it's it's not that light bronze that a lot of you know highlighters or highlight compacts come out with the reason why I picked this is because I feel like this bronzer, if you have a medium medium tan skin, this almost melts into your skin. It's that sort of color. Because it's a medium tone, it will not change the color of your skin. Instead, it'll just make it stand out a bit more so it will make your cheekbones more prominent without bringing like color contrast. Because some highlighters, you can tell like, your skin is tan and then you've got a champagne highlight like this blends into the skin and just gives it a really nice glow this will be like everyday summer type of um, highlight whereas cheeky bronze would be like more of a blush it looks like a pulled together look this one you could just dust over your skin and it just naturally gives you a glow yeah it's good these are definitely my top highlighters but out of all of them this is my favorite just because i'm not one to use highlighter on a regular basis in everyday life i can go ham on highlighter when i'm filming because i'm filming but if i'm gonna walk out the door i don't want to have a streak of highlighter on my face because i have textured skin it's gonna be bad and this is from nars this is a nars blush I'm not sure why it's a blush i would put this under their highlighters but this is in tribulation i can go ham i can go like this and put this on my face and it will not give me that metallic highlighter look this is the most minimal type of highlighter you can go with and it still looks beautiful on the skin because it's golden it's got a little bit of that peachy champagne look to it so it looks great on our complexion i've used this so much in my videos it's not even funny if i'm going out outside of my house and i decide to use highlighter i will not use anything else except for this i might dabble with moonstone and blend blend it really heavily but i mean if i just want to go out the door i have to use this one because i don't have to think about it i can go like this with my brush and put it on my face and it still looks very much like healthy glow as opposed to hey i have highlighter on and if we have the same skin tone and you're suffering with textured skin like myself this is the type of stuff that we need um, i find that with becca as much as they look gorgeous and beautiful when you swatch them it's very different when you put it on textured skin it makes your texture stand out and i don't want that i don't want people to stare at that especially if i'm going out and about i would love to have highlighter to the gods but i just can't because of my textured skin so this is my recommendation for those of you guys out there guys and gals that would like to have highlighter but have textured skin and it's worrisome and bothersome to you i would recommend this one so think of your makeup preferences like the way you like to do your makeup and then buy according to that if you want to buy them all go ahead <laughs> I'm not one to judge. I buy everything. All right, guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are finding these videos helpful. I love the feedback that I'm getting from it. Um, a lot of positive things, so I'm looking forward to continuing with it. 
I think next I might I might do palettes the only reason I'm hesitant with palettes is because I'm very particular with my makeup looks so I need to try and get myself out of the mindset of just my preference and look at it as what will look good on our skin tones all right guys so with that said if you guys enjoyed this video and have not done so already go ahead and click the subscribe button down below in red and then if you like this makeup look again as mentioned earlier in this video i will be putting it on my instagram and you can check out all the beauty products that i used to put this makeup look together over there and if you don't know it's the first link down below it is the same thing as my youtube name which is just instagram slash maddie jesus till the next video hope you guys are all doing well and taking really good care of yourselves i will see you all next time bye Got a guy with a guitar singing on a country track. Got